Welcome to another session of how to become a financial analyst and today we'll be discussing a very interesting function of our data links. Uh, many people what I think uh, just know the very basic function of um, edit links uh, but it is more than the basic functions and this is one of the uh, functions where it can help you to bring in more efficiency and accuracy into your worksheets and you can also call it that you can uh, you can say it's a like a concept of a data uh, data automation into your into your file so let me just explain you uh, the situation and uh, this is how it is first of all uh, we are updating a labor hours okay so um, i have three manufacturing facilities and uh, it's one is in burlington one is in mississauga and one is in a golf all three canadian uh, cities and uh, this is a main sheet and this is working for the month of uh, january okay and um, during my career i was in a situation uh, or i will tell you uh, at the end of the recording that what was the situation how we have solved it uh, so now what happens that uh, most of the companies uh, what they do is they have sometimes different softwares to input the labor hours into the systems and there's another software uh, to make a uh, a payroll system so people have to transfer the data majority of companies have to transfer the data from the either from the ERP or some other softwares into into the ADP for example uh, currently where I'm working we have a software called toggle uh, people input their hours into a toggle and then from toggle we transfer it to a software called ADP and that's a software which process our payments and salaries every the salaries and over time over here so every month we have to make certain excel data which help us to uh, translate it uh, to uh, you know move it to the other system so over here let me just show you my directory okay and uh, here if you see right now the file which is open uh, with me is main january okay so this is a main january file which we will update and now we have two months of um, of the files First is um, okay, my days, yeah. So first is Mississauga, where it has two months January data for the payroll, for the uh, labor hours, and February data. There is a city called uh, Golf has a January data and the February data, and then Burlington has a January data and the February data. So first of all, we will update the edit linking into our main file, which is for the month of January. And which is open right here in front of my so this is basically a January file for the main data okay everything relates to the edit linking is available in a data ribbon and over here there's a cell called edit linking because right now we have not done any edit linking so that's why system is not doing this now because these are all your internal uh, files so what you can do is you can do uh, you can introduce a concept of a standardization of a data that means your files and the people who are sending you the data within the companies are, are same format and same everything okay so following this that same concept let me open the first file which is Burlington for the month of a January okay and when I open this file here you can see that this is almost similar to the here so the, we have six um, workers over here and it's showing you the six with the z name and the same sequence and everything so this is my source file from the source i and this is for the month of january and from the source file i want to transfer the data over here through the edit linking so it is very simple i have to do nothing just say is equals to and then say alter tab to go to the last file and here am i so i can put my cursor here before that internally if you want to reconcile or make sure that the sequence of the employees and the everything is as per the uh, main file you, can, you i always recommend you to make sure that everything is okay once it is done so now uh, this you are you are picking the data from this file from uh, this sheet from this cell and i because i want to move it i want them to uh, change the data horizontally and vertically so I will remove all the dollar signs from here it's simply f3 and I will enter the file and simply because the format is same I have to do nothing I will copy this and I will copy everything till here and as you can see there's a total which is called 
18560 and if I go over here it says 18560 that's all what I have to do I can close my this file because I don't need it and now if I so uh, see the document it's showing me everything from the detail from where the data is coming now I can put my uh, cursor onto another plant which is located in Mississauga and I can go and I says show open the file which is January Mississauga and move to a January file again I will do the same technique I will go into my main file and say is equals to alter tab because I came from here I click it over here and move the, the dollar signs enter simply I have to do nothing I have to copy this data from here to here and then I can copy till here and again I will make sure that all the sequence of the employees and everything is as per the source data will always be as per the main data and again here the total is 3200 and if I go over here it says 3200 I'm okay while the file is open and if I put my cursor it's just showing me the name of the file the name of the tab and the cell reference okay but if I if I close uh, this Mississauga file this file and now if I go so it will show me the whole path and now as you can see there's only one file open in Excel now if I want to open this file I can even double click here and the mobile I click the source file which is a Mississauga file has been opened one more time so this is these are simple things which you can do now what I'll do I'm gonna put my cursor on the third uh, uh, plant which is located in the uh, in the Gulf and here I will come here and I say Jan Gulf for the Jan data go over here and here is the file and again I'll make sure that all sequence and everything is okay if it is okay then I can go into my main file and say is equal to into file remove all the data because I want to move horizontal and vertical and now I can copy this thing over here okay and now what I see is 22540 and if I go here it says 22540 I'm okay with that and what I can do is I can close this file now I can save it as my January file and now if I go on to data ribbon and now this edit linking which is the only icon you require to do a added linking is there when I click it over here it's showing me that this is the main file is linked with three files which is Burlington January Golf January and Missaga January but the data is not confirmed so what I can do I can select with a shift and down arrow key and say update the moment I say update system has pulled the or refreshed the data from the source file and is conf confirming you that it is all updated whatever the changes you have made okay now um, if I close this main file and go to the source file, let's say any one of the file, I change the data over there and then reopen this main file, data will automatically get updated into the main file, okay? Um, and it is something like this, that the, the files are on the server, um, you have updated the file at 5 o'clock in the evening and tomorrow 9 o'clock is the meeting and then somebody who submitted the file on the server has has thought oh one of the figure was not corrected and the person has went into the server or on, on, uh, on a shared drive update the numbers in the source file and in the morning when you come before you take a printout you just go over here and say update and the data if somebody has changed from the source file previously will automatically get updated over here. And at any time, I just want to remove these links. Again, I can select everything. I will not press that button, but you can say break the link over here. If I click this button, all the links will be will be uh, will be broken, and the data will become a normal data. But I don't want to do that. So this is what I have done for the month of January. I will save this file, and then I will say save this main file not as a main for the month of Jan but save it as a month of of February yeah and for your convenience I will change it to a fab so there will be no clear but when I go over here still I can see the files are showing me that the source is coming from the Jan file it's all January here in the first one if I go to the second source again it's saying me January over here and again same is the third source it's showing me 
a January here. But now what I will do, I don't have to do all that thing which I want to do. I will simply go into a data, say edit links, and this is I have to do one by one. So let's say first I want to pick the Burlington file for the January and say change the source. Okay, and what is the source here? Now there's a Burlington for the month of February. Simply say and say okay. And as you can see, the numbers has changed. Then I will go uh, for uh, for Mississauga for Jan. Change, hold it. Say um, change the source. And which is the source here? I want Mississauga for the month of February. And again, you can see data has been updated. And the last file is golf for Jan. I'll hold this file. Change the source. And over here, I will select golf for the February and say OK. And as you can see, that the changes has been done. Just to reconcile the data, I will pick any of the file. For example, let me open the file which is Mississauga for the month of February. So I will go over here and say open the file Mississauga for the month of, of Jan. Over here. And over here, the total is 27. 390 and if I go on to my source file 27 390 so now what we have done is we have simply learned the, learned the things now every month if February come you will just simply people will will uh, share the file on onto a shared drive or a Google Drive or a main server whatever the system you are using and your job is to just pick and change the source February, after Feb, March, April, May, June, July, and the next year, and the next year. So technically what happened, uh, a few years back when I joined the company, we have a big multi, I was working for a big multinational company, and we have 40 different cost centers uh, uh, of the company, and uh, there were some K, K, KPI numbers, all 40 measures used to report us, and we used to make one comprehensive file in an head office. And the person who was working before, uh, before me, uh, sometimes take half an hour, half a day sorry half a day to update those files so when i have taken charge of this responsibility because i know all these edit linking there was i have spent one day in establishing a link from the main file to the source files and from next day month onward from a five hours or four hours job it becomes a four minute job for me and this is one of the things uh, which in bring more efficiency and accuracy and again if your boss uh, your boss will know that the, the somebody who is taking three to four hours has, has been just a 10 minutes business that definitely he will uh, not only appreciate you but if you have just started a company and still you are in a probation period maybe the simple activity will help you to get to get a confirmation of your job and there are many many examples which uh, uh, I can give you for the edit linking so I hope uh, that uh, today you have learned a new technique through our edit link function and uh, if you want me to uh, cover any specific scenario related to uh, your day-to-day -day routine which uh, we can improve through the edit linking you can always contact me put your uh, remarks in the comments and I will get back to you uh, and um, at the end I will say the same thing that please uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that you can be updated on our new videos we will be working on very soon we will be bringing in more data automations and data modeling exercises so you will it will help you in your career development so thank you for uh, tuning in bye